What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do the muscle flash effect in Final Cut Pro X. So first off, here's a quick preview of what the effect is going to look like. All you need for this effect is a clip where you pretend that you're shooting a gun and a gunshot sound effect. And for the gun, you could basically use a toy gun or an airsoft gun or whatever you have. In my case, I've been using an airsoft gun. So first off, you want to find two frames right after you pull the trigger. So scroll through your video. And in my case, it's right here. So these two frames. So go ahead and click Command B right when you start pulling the trigger and go two frames ahead and hit command B again. So this little clip is going to be useful in later in the tutorial. So for now what you want to do is go under the generators, go under elements and drag on the shapes. Drop it so it starts at the end of our new clip and cut it right at the end. So now our soon to come muscle flash and our new clip is the exact same length of two frames. So starting off you're just gonna see a big circle in the middle of your shot but we're actually gonna change that to a muscle flash. So make sure your your circle is selected, your shapes is selected and go under the generator and zoom out a bit so we have a bit of space to work with outside of our frame and select transform. From here you want to change the shape to an arrow. Go ahead and change the size to make it fit your situation, your shot. And change the angle also to make it fit the direction of your gun. So your muscle flash is going to be about this size compared to your gun. So click done, change the roundness to about this right here and deselect the outline. From here we want to add a blur to our new muscle flash. So go under the effects tab and under blur and drag on a Gaussian blur. Go ahead and drop it on your muscle flash. Select the video up here and increase the amount, decrease the horizontal amount, not all the way, right about actually in the middle, and increase the blur boost a bit. Now what you want to do is you want to duplicate the new the muscle flash we just made by holding down Alt or Option on your keyboard and dragging it on top of your current muscle flash. So now you have two of the exact same muscle flashes. So what we're going to do with the second one is we're going to actually decrease the blur boost, decrease the amount, select the transform tool, decreasing the size and putting it right about here. So our muscle flash is done, but since it's visible for over the period of two frames, as you can see the gun is moving but the muscle flash stays at its position. So we want the muscle flash to move with the gun. So to do that, all you want to do is select one of the shapes and click this transform button and make a keyframe. I've already added one. So make a keyframe right here at the beginning of the clip and go one frame ahead and move this with the gun. And as, uh, as soon as you move the, um, the shape, another keyframe is automatically added, so you won't have to worry about that. Click done, and do the exact same thing on the other shape. Keyframe, add, and move it with the other shape. Done. So now, our shapes are moving with the gun. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button and comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.